Hey gamers, Brent here from shortpause.com. I wanted to share some initial impressions of the Resident Evil HD Remastered version available now on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PC. It's been almost 20 years since I first played Resident Evil on the original PlayStation, and because I never played the GameCube remake or the PlayStation 1 port that's available on the PlayStation Store, I went into this not knowing what to truly expect. Resident Evil was the first game of its kind that I had played, and it scared the hell out of me back in 1996, even with the atrocious voice acting. I'm happy to say that thanks to the new shiny updated graphics, improved game sound, and moderately better voice acting, Resident Evil HD Remastered is a prime example of how to remaster a classic game properly. Everything from the lighting to the improved resolution helps bring the mansion to life and creates a much more haunting experience. Despite the impressive updated visuals and sound, it's somewhat disappointing that console owners won't have the ability to experience the game at 60 frames per second like its PC counterpart. This may sound silly, but even though the updated voice acting isn't nearly as awful as the originals, it still feels rather flat compared to the overacting from the first one. Barry. Where's Barry? In a strange way, I kind of miss the original voice acting here. Another point that stood out to me was how the original control scheme hasn't aged very well, but I attribute that to the fact that I haven't played this game in years. That's not to say it's a bad thing, as I'm sure diehard Resident Evil fans will feel right at home with them, but I'm very thankful for the additional control schemes that make the game more accessible to those who may prefer more modern controls. Surprisingly, the game still plays very well. Despite some small clipping issues and a finicky camera that can leave you disoriented for a moment, shooting zombies is still very satisfying yet nerve-wracking seeing as ammo is very sparse. It actually took me quite some time to progress through the story because I had forgotten where all the keys were that are needed to unlock new rooms throughout the mansion, and solving some of these puzzles has taken me a lot longer than I can remember. It's all coming back to me though, and thanks to the extremely impressive boost to presentation, I look forward to playing through this classic title all over again. Keep it tuned to Short Pause for our Resident Evil review, as well as all your gaming and anime news.